was going to be on our radar. Well, it's the last of the four IT majors to report their numbers. We got a lackluster set from Infosys and TCS. ATL technology numbers look good, but it's a disappointing set that Wipro has reported. In fact, another disappointing quarter. It's a big miss on the dollar revenues as well as their Q4 guidance, even as the margins have beaten street expectations. To run you through the numbers, dollar revenues have declined by 0.7%. In terms of margins, there is a beat. Margins have improved by close to about 50 basis points to 18.3%. Uh, uh, with respect to the constant currency growth, constant currency growth has come in at about 0.6%, which is at the lower end of the company's own guided band of 0 to 2%. And the street was working with a constant currency growth of a little more than 1% because of the inorganic initiatives that the company has taken. Uh, the bigger miss is the fact that the Q4 guidance is appearing to be very subdued just about 1 to 2 percent the street estimates for at least a 2 to 4 percent guidance uh, and remember the reason we were expecting a fairly good guidance uh, that's because they would have got a two-month contribution from an acquisition that they'd done so on an organic basis for all you know Wipro is going to report a flat quarter in constant currency or perhaps even a degrowth the two key reasons for the subdued guidance one there's a slowdown in the healthcare vertical which is about 16% of their revenues. And secondly, the company is in the process of restructuring their India and Middle East uh, uh, business. So these are the two key reasons the management is attributed in their conference call for the subdued guidance. Deutsche Bank says that we're now expecting the company to report just a 5% dollar revenue growth in F518, but they continue to retain a hold on the stock as they believe the stock is fairly priced. Uh, Kotak 2 says that the valuations may appear attractive, but they are fair for a company which has stopped reporting any kind of growth. They're in fact focusing a 4.6% growth in F517, just a 6.2% growth in F518, which is why they maintain a reduced rating. So net-net, Wipro disappoints for another quarter. There is hardly any growth that the company has reported. Q, uh, Q3 uh, revenues miss. Q4 guidance also much lower than straight expectations. Uh, the stock could be weak in trade. All right, Rima. Thanks a lot for that. In fact, I'll take the.